What is going on guys, Brown here and welcome back to the My Team Career Mode here today for part 3 at the Vietnam Grand Prix the first new track on the calendar for us so let's get into it shall we and to kick it off going to at the end of our first run in Q1 and I'm just going to say this plain and simple I was struggling so much as we hit the wall literally before this race weekend I'd done 5 laps of the Vietnam track I did when I first finished installing F1 2020 I went straight into it and then did a 5 lap race around Vietnam and you can see there I completely mistimed my final run and we will be starting down at the back but before we get into the race if you are enjoying this series and you want to see more make sure to like and subscribe and let's get into the race it's going to be a long one Welcome along to the Vietnamese capital of Hanoi, a vibrant city built on the banks of the magnificent Red River. Today it's the backdrop for the latest round of the Formula One World Championship, with a circuit specifically designed to encourage overtaking opportunities. I think we could be in for a cracking race today. A lap of Hanoi circuit then, 3.4 miles around the Vietnamese capital. A number of the 23 corners take their inspiration from other great circuits, hopefully creating plenty of passing opportunities. Anthony Davidson is here once again for today's Grand Prix. Now I want to ask you about Lewis Hamilton. That was a great win in the last race. Will they keep that momentum going this weekend? There are never any guarantees in this business, but certainly the performance last time out would have boosted their confidence coming into this one. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. A fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday puts him on pole, and starting alongside in P2 is Sebastian Vettel. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Bottas, Hamilton, Alexander Albon, and Verstappen, Sainz, Norris, Ricardo, and Esteban Ocon, Stroll. Raikkonen, Kevin Magnussen, and Giovinazzi, Grosjean, Perez, Nicholas Latifi, and Pierre Gasly, Joe, Russell, Brown, and Daniel Kvyat completes the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. So we get promoted up to 21st after Daniel Kvyat's penalty. Um, but now going into the strategy, I'm going to be doing a two-stop because... I've seen other YouTubers attempt the one stop and it is possible but they have dropped off very very quickly so we're going to be doing a two stop we're going to start on the mediums and then go aggressive towards the end with two sets of the soft tyre and the soft can't really go that far only about eight or so laps so we're going to have to take the mediums quite deep into the race and then have two short bursts on the soft tyres but let's get into the start of the very very first Vietnam Grand Prix it's lights out and away we go it's Charles V Vettel off the line and it looks like Vettel might have just got the start as the camera cuts we're going to go right to the um, outside I wanted to go inside but the turn one corner is so tight here at Vietnam that really even that AI strike tried to struggle to get through it. As we go down the inside of two cars, and we briefly were three wide as we go around that long, very long right hander. And now as we head down the straight before we head into the chicane and everyone flooding through. It's very hard to see what's going on here. So we did think about it. We are defending off the racing point of Lance Stroll. Stroll gets on our inside. We lose the back end. And our stroll side by side, this is a great camera angle as we head through now onto the very, very long back straight. And now Kvyat's all over the back of us and it looks like he might get us back here. We're going to go defensive to the inside, we're going to get DRS though, not DRS, we're going to get a slipstream off of Lance Stroll. And that's going to let us try and think about it around the outside but we get blocked by Grosjean and now Lance Stroll gets down the inside of Grosjean he has a big tank slapper of oversteer and we just kind of have to sit here and wait so on the back of Stroll we've got Kvyat all over the back of us here 
and our stroll potentially we can get but we have been struggling I've been struggling so much Vietnam very much reminds me of Valencia if you've been playing the F1 games and watching F1 long enough you'll know that was an absolute stunning track and this track reminds me of it a bit especially that final sector it also is kind of Baku-esque as well that final sector we head through the little chicane bit and down the straight again Kavia looks to have got us this time it's side by side with we head down the straight and look at the Williams there trying to make it free wide I think he's a little bit too far back but we completely cut off Danny Kvyat there and the Williams has overtaken Kvyat and this might go to a little buffer as Kvyat in the background you might have seen there completely loses the rear end and now it's lost out massively this is a replay of what happened to the Russian you can see heading through he just loses the rear you can you can see just before he even um, got out of the corner just here he was already losing the back end he was just trying to find the power and he was very very lucky there to keep it out the wall but now this is George Russell trying to go down her inside we went too deep though George Russell gets down her inside we're still on the outside we're going to try and defend him all the way around the outside but George Russell is past us and now we're going to try and send it down the inside but we can't do that and we go into the tricky final sector skipping on now to lap 3 and George Russell now ahead of us pulling out a gap and Kvyat now is really overtaking us this time it looks like he's got the job done and we're back down into P22 and last in this Vietnam Grand Prix this track really has got um, loads, of little, loads of tracks in it in my opinion the, the really long right hander and the really long left hander really reminds me of turn 3 at Russia and then the final sector reminds me of Valencia and back here as we get the run back on Kvyat overtake and DRS we just breeze past the Alpha Tauri and we get back up into P21 it sounds so bad we are literally fighting for the wooden spoon in this race so early on as well we've gone on to lap 7 we've managed to defend um, we actually managed to lose out to Kvyat I'm not sure where he overtook us and our teammate now I believe may have pitted and is now in front of us by new Joe you can see Kvyat there has actually overtaken but it's briefly ahead of George Russell and it looks like George Russell has got him back we tried to go around the outside of Grand New Joe but he locked up and forced us out here and it was around this point of the race where I really kind of started to find my groove as we go on to lap 8 and I found um, here in Vietnam that I was a lot quicker following the car as we as Grand New Joe defends us again there than I was beating the lead car that makes sense. I was just, I was really watching Kanye New Joe's lines closely, and that was kind of allowing me to see where he's off, off the throttle, on throttle, and it really kind of helped me at that second long left hander. It's a bit like the one at Russia as we try and re overtake Kanye New Joe, but we've gone deep again, and Kanye New Joe. They can't get at the inside of us, he's still there though, you can see the red indicator. But we do overtake our Chinese teammates and can get on with our race hopefully. But now skipping on and Guan Yu Zhou is going to pit here. So so I think this may be his, his second stop I think because he was quite a distance at the road from us because we were P22 when we were battling Kvyat so he's trundling down the pit lane here it's a very long pit lane it's a very awkward pit lane as well especially on the exit so in he comes he's actually got damage on the front wing I don't know whether that was with us so he's changing his front wing going on to another set of the soft so that must be his opening and first stop of the day so he's definitely doing the two stop as well and this is what I mean by the 
by the awkward pit lane here. You come out right on the racing line. Of course, he's all right there because no one is behind him and in front of him even. But here, here comes Gasly. He's already made his stop. His pit stop at the road for us. You can see the tyres there. But I was really struggling to really try and find where the power could get down around that left hander. I was really kind of the back end was just getting away from me every single time. That's why following on the kind of helped me in a way that I knew where I needed to put the power down because obviously you're you try not to hit the car in front, which makes it a little bit easier. But something that I realised the very first lap I did of this track is that the final corner is very awkward round here at Vietnam. There's George Russell overtakes us as well. And he's a pit stop ahead of us as well, so both Williams breezing past us on lap 11 here. And it hasn't been a good race, has it? It's just everything has just gone to pot. But in my defence, this was literally my first proper race around Vietnam. As I was saying at the start of the video, before this race, I'd literally, literally done five laps of Vietnam. So, I still needed to learn the track. I was learning it whilst I was racing in a way. But now, towards the end of lap 11, Kvyat overtook us there. We are come, gonna come and make our first stop of the day onto the soft tires. And we pit from P20. Which doesn't sound good at all, does it? But as we trundle down the pit lane, we actually, there's a glitch at the minute. I don't think they've fixed it. Um, this was like, I filmed this episode literally like the day after the game came out, so a couple of weeks ago now. And, and there's a glitch that when you're in the pit lane, I noticed it in Australia and at Bahrain, when the camera should cut to the, your pit crew it glitches out and you, you're just like looking at some random mechanic that's not even in your team or you're in someone else's garage which I know they patched the game a couple of days ago and that still hasn't been fixed in my like later episodes I still saw that happening let's give the really overtakes us here and I think kind of this may be for position now. Lap 20 though. So we've gone quite far. We're on, skipping on. That was nine laps. And here's the two Williams. Now battling. As they head down. And that's George Russell. George Russell's out of the race. His engine is blown. And that is not good. He, he looked really strong. Around the streets of Vietnam. But it's all gone, his engine's gone bang, and that's a very dangerous place to park his car. Some information on Russell. It looks like the problem is too Unfortunately low. for us, there was no safety car, which would have brought us right to contention. This is the very last lap of the race, and now we did pit again. But there goes this Estevan Ocon. Estevan Ocon's lost it, and he's facing the wrong way. And he's lost his front wing and now he's turning in the middle of the track. It's the fastest part of the track. And he's just sideways. And oh god, don't do that. What is he doing? Estevan Ocon just doing a three point turn in the middle of the track. And he was actually on for some really good points until that happened. And that has ruined his race. This is a replay of what happened. Would have thought he would have touched a Red Bull, but he didn't. And he completely lost the back end. He must have just got a whoosh of dirty air, which made the rear step out. He couldn't catch it. And you can see there, it's just a horrible incident. Um, luckily for him, it's on reduced, so the damage. So I think if that was on full, or maybe it was simulation, he would have, he would have retired. But Seb Bastian Vettel wins in Vietnam from Charles Leclerc. Max Verstappen is gonna come home for P3 in this race. Around the awkward final corner that looks flat until you get to the apex and you realise it isn't. Then come the two Mercedes headed by Lewis Hamilton. 
and skipping on we come around the final corner and we finish P20 our very first feet now in the Grand Prix. Right, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. then a fantastic Vietnam Grand Prix and what a performance it was from our race winners today. So Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, time management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. Ferrari are at it again, an excellent performance at today's Grand Prix, and they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there. So that's been your Vietnam Grand Prix, you'll see here the podium pass, um, at the minute we're still in rank 1 but now hopefully that is going to go up to rank 2 and it is, so we unlock a new livery and a new helmet, the helmet's not great but it's nice enough, but now this is the race result then so it's actually Charles Leclerc one, I said Sebastian Vettel, but it is Charles Leclerc from Vettel, from Verstappen, Hamilton, Bottas, Ricardo, and this is where it's a knock on, so you can see Alexander Albon 7th, so he was on for 8th, and the, and the Frenchman ended up finishing in 15th, so he was on for some good couple of points, we get beaten by Guan Yu Zhou, but we do beat Nicholas Latifi who pitted for um, damage to his front wing and you would have seen there he weren't far off being lapped so the championship for us we still have zero points from three rounds and then Haas got one point so it's us and Williams who are still yet to score this season but next we go into the Chinese Grand Prix which is a track I know and a track that for me on F1 2019 it was a bit strange whereas it, it weren't my strongest track, but it weren't my weaker either. It's kind of just a med track. Now we go into the activities for the team. And I spent a long time deciding what what ones I should do and which ones I shouldn't. As you can see on the calendar, we do have an invitational event. That is at Zamfort in the Red Bull. And something that I didn't actually realise until, until I did that. That you actually get a 350k just by completing it which obviously at the minute especially in my team we need all the money we can get so very helpful that we're going to be doing a sponsor um, objective activity and now we're just going to sim on we've got time after the um, invitational event to the Chinese Grand Prix but so we're going to sim on and in the next episode, we will do the um, the invitational event before we go to China. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Like if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you for part four at the Chinese Grand Prix.